Mm -hmm. I put my most used things right here. Welcome to today's video. So as you can hear, I am in our bathroom and it is time for this bathroom transformation. I'm sure most of you watching have been here for quite a while and have seen the transformations over time that we have done to our master bathroom, but this is the biggest one. This is the most transformative. None of the others compare. This is the biggest makeover that I think we have done in, besides painting the kitchen cabinets, I think this is the the next biggest thing that we've done. Um, it's just made such a huge difference. I'm standing in here now looking at everything. We have been filming for the past six and a half months of uh, <laughs> this bathroom. Um, we haven't done any like major renovations, but because of life and just, you know, just life in general, things going on. Um, we're just working on things as they go. And plus I was, you know, making decisions and shopping for things along the way when I had the opportunity. So, um, you know, all of that, of course, and having two under two and jobs, you know, everything just kind of like, it happened when it happened, but I am so happy with it. There are a few like decor things I still want to do, um, but, I am just very excited um, about where we are right now. Uh, I won't be getting anything unless I like really love something um, moving forward. I just don't want to buy something just to buy it, just to hurry up and get the room done, which is what I've done in the past. And then you end up not liking it over time. So I want to make sure that I really like those pieces that I'm going to be shopping for, which I'll talk about a little bit later. But before we get into this amazing makeover, let's rewind back to January to where it all started. time has finally come we ha i have been filming little things when i say little things i literally mean little because all we've done in here is change out the handles <laughs> um and we tested some paint you guess which color we're going with one two or three so two is the color that is in the playroom which is the one we went with because i initially was going to go with this one but I then also realized the color of our countertops is pretty similar. So I wanted to have a little bit of contrast in it. And because I already know what it looks like in another room of the house, I felt confident with this second choice. And this is called Origami White, right? You're on the can. Origami White. Okay. Origami White. And we use a Sherwin Williams. Um, Sherwin Williams, the showcase paint. And this is semi-gloss, which I I think we did either semi-gloss or high-gloss in the playroom because I wanted something that would easily clean. And in a bathroom, you really want something that will clean really well. And I don't think it's like super shiny. Do you think? Um, think high-gloss is what you're shining your trim. Yeah. So I think that's why we want a semi-gloss. Um, but it's not like super shiny in the playroom, what we went with, but it is easy to clean and what they painted the house with. So the paint that's in, ignore the mess, messy bed, but the paint that's on that wall, I'm pretty sure is either flat or satin, and it sucks. That is the hardest paint to clean. It's in both kids' rooms and the guest bath bathroom, and it absolutely sucks to clean it. Um, so maybe we'll venture out and paint those if we're still here. I don't know, but it sucks it's almost like impossible to even clean those walls cody's making a note of something but we are going to use hopefully the kids sound machines aren't too loud on the monitor here they probably are. <laughs> anyway um we use purdy 
We got pretty, pretty, pretty. We're gonna be using those. Um, we are gonna take these down, of course, to paint all of this, and we're gonna permanently take this down. The the distance of this is absolutely absurd and this has only ever been used for like decorative towels which means towels to collect hair and dust and i've despised it but since it was there i've always put towels there so we're going to take that down fill in those holes never put that up again if i put anything up i might do two hooks over here maybe we'll see for now we're not we're just going to leave this wall plain just with the baskets and the baskets will finally get their time to shine on a newly painted wall because this blue does nothing for them. All right, y'all, I seen so many people talk about this hole filler. I had a different one, it's not it's not focusing, it's not focusing. I used a different one in the playroom and in the kitchen when I did it, and I wasn't a huge fan of it. Um, and I seen a lot of people on social media, TikTok, Instagram, use this one. And I think it was pretty cheap, it's like under 10 bucks. And it's like a three, it's an all-in-one. So you got your, you know, your scraper thing there to flatten it out, but you also have the sander on the bottom of this. So we're gonna use that to fill in these holes and these holes from this. And I, I don't know why this makes me so excited to try this, so I really wanna do this myself. Okay. So. Now if you mess it up. There's no messing it up. You just sand it and you start over. If you mess it up. Oh, I can't stand him. So I'm gonna do this. All right, so look, ju judging by this, they're further out than what our mirror, our new mirrors are probably. Them holes are further out. I think the mirrors are more narrow. What about them? Okay. There's a stud. These two were in studs. Oh, okay. These two were not. There's anchors in the wall. So that's telling me that studs either here or here. We'll somewhere. figure it out once we go to putting these up. There. there may be one right in the middle somewhere. Okay. Well, we got to see what even the backs of them mirrors look like. I'm gonna sand these here shortly. I'm trying to make sure they're good and dry. Uh, Cody said they have these metal anchors in the wall where this towel thing was. So we're not quite sure how to go about that. If I have to, I'll just buy more baskets and hang them over these brackets. If it, it's our voice is starting to echo. Have we put that much stuff out of here? All right, here is the new mirrors and I love them. I think there are, I think they're a really fun shape because they're not oval, they're not square. I think they call these like a peel shape. Um, I love the little framing. I love these. I feel like it's a perfect upgrade from what we had because I feel like these are like super dated with that beveled edge. So I'm excited to see these up. The only thing with these are <laughs> the only thing are with these, they don't have the same kind of mountain stuff on the back. So we're going to see if we can use these. Hey, baby. See if we can use these, um, 
these hooks that we use for a lot of stuff <laughs> and see if that'll work. So we'll update y'all on that as we move forward because I got to get this little this little Whoa. monkey this little monkey out of here before she breaks the mirror. What? Say hi, guys. Can you say hi, guys? Hi, guys. Mm-hmm. Say what's up. What's up? Say how you doing. Honey. Nope. There's too much stuff up there. Come on, get your snack. Oh did, no. Did you leave grandma? Oh, no. You left grandma. Come on. Come on. No. Yeah. Come on. No. All right. What method are we calling this? The page method. <laughs> or the page way. Anyone else? The paddle way. The paddle way. What? PDF. Um, really? <laughs> um, I did not make this up. I've seen people use tape before. Um,. But we were trying to, Cody is very numbery mathematical when it comes to putting stuff on a wall. And I am the throw it up on the wall and figure it out later kind of gal. So when we work together, sometimes it's difficult. <laughs> but I think I have brought him over to my side with this. Why, thanks. Well, it, I mean, it is because we just think on the opposite spectrum when it comes to this kind Where of stuff. Where is the filter jar? So what we did is you just pet you take a piece of painter's tape and you put it on the back of whatever it is you're hanging up. You mark the spots that you need it to be, especially when it's two for things the hangers. for the hangers. And um, then you measure off where you need it to go. And then we just pop the holes on the holes. You just take the painter's tape off. So this one was not a stud. This one is. This one's a stud. So our initial plan of using these really good hooks that we highly recommend, you can only use these in non-studded areas because <laughs> yes. you can't get them yeah, but I don't they're meant to go these. in and hook around like yeah. this but i don't want to use one of these and not yeah and so we have to use both screws, screws. but, but we're using them to, to mark our hole it would go in and like turn, that and then it walks we that, have these that'll walk into place yeah and it pinch it wedges back into the sheet rock we have these all throughout the house hanging up quite a bit of different things and they work really well that's a 25 pound rated hook. We have one that's 52. Yeah, we got one that's 50, but that'll be plenty. Yeah, um, if we were using this, it would be plenty, <laughs> but we are not. So we're gonna go back to the whole screw thing, which is kind of what I wanted to do anyway. Um, so now we've got to do that. So we're gonna get this one situated and I'm gonna get Ellis up from his nap. And um, I guess Cody will finish off the mirrors cause I got to breastfeed Ellis and then we'll see where we're at. And the reason we're seeing, I know some of you are probably like, why are you hanging mirrors first before we're painting? We're not hanging them first. We just want to get them where the placement where the of holes, them are. are yeah, where the holes are going to be before we start painting. And then...
last night of working on the bathroom for a little bit until we get the faucets. But Cody's working on cleaning up the receptacles. Is that the right word? Uh -huh. um, are you going to put the towel thingies on too? Yeah. Somewhere. In a box somewhere. This is a different color, but... It's a different color. It's not white. I mean, OMG. It, it leaks, it, it, it's dingy. I mean, it maybe was white at one point. I don't know. It looks mighty different. I mean, it is so bright. Just on this camera, it is so bright. This is my first time seeing it at night, all done. But the reason I started up the vlog here was to show y'all. So, y'all remember I had about how many baskets? Five today we bought one, two, three, four, five. Five more. <laughs> My plan, I was just going to put them back up. We didn't fill those holes because I was just going to put these right back up on the wall. But now, because I got more, I need to come up with a different plan as far as placement. So the way that I like to do this, and now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if I'm going to use this one or not. It's very yellow, but with this... I don't know, on camera, it looks more yellow than it is in person. So I don't know, we'll see. I really should have started filming this before I just threw all of this old makeup away. <laughs> Brushes, makeup, I just had to be realistic here. I don't wear it, don't use it, or nasty. And I'm gonna make this drawer a jewelry drawer and I'm trying to figure out how I want to set this up to be the most useful. to clean out all of these <sighs> Cody's at work tonight so um, perfect time to do all of this craziness I still might leave some skincare stuff we'll see let's um let's play around with it and see what we're going to do okay this is already immaculate okay immaculate this is like skincare overflow and pretty much like skin stuff so some makeup things I guess we're gonna go down here so I gotta figure out what all is <laughs> what all is in here I am on a throwing away thriller by throwing away rampage I want to say this is mostly here but I got a feeling there's some makeup because that's makeup um, so I'm gonna probably have to add some things to this but that's totally fine I used one of the clear things that was in here down here to try to like rally things together I love containers and I really love using ones that I already have instead of trying to buy new ones um, so yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able <laughs> Now, if I have to, I will use this. It's seen better days, but I will use that. I'm not against it, but we'll see what we can, see what we're working with in here. Every time I clean out these drawers, it amazes me the amount of crap that I just allow to accumulate. This whole thing's going in the trash. The amount of old retired, not retired, expired makeup. <laughs> that is in this is ridiculous. Like, and there's three compartments. It's all going in the trash. This whole bag's going in the trash. Look how much, look how much better. 
This one could possibly be better and I'm gonna work with it once I get this cleaned out over here. All of this cleaned out and once we figure this out. But for now, this is what we're going with and I am, I'm living, living. Still on the rampage, cleaning all of this out and I'm working my way up to this and all of this, okay? I'm not gonna make you watch. This is not a cleaning and decluttering organizing video. This is a master bath makeover. So just wanna show you the before and then I will show you the after. I did go ahead and put these um, little hand towels out that used to be on that towel rod because I love them. I think they're from Home Goods, but wow, you guys, check it. I cannot, I simply cannot. I don't know why I haven't been using that top rack for extra random stuff. I don't know, but I am thrilled. I did have to put that back there for the time being. I want to have something put on this door to hang necklaces on, but it's okay back there for now. And I put my most used things right here and some other things here that's most used and then stuff not so used as it goes up, if that makes any sense. And I would love to be able to find some baskets that'll fit inside of these because I'm pretty sure they were used, they're supposed to be used for towels, but that's just not realistic. Our towels do not fit in these. All right, bathroom is still a mess. This is not the grand reveal by no means. <laughs> um, okay, going to give you some updates. Found this stool today at Home Goods. Comment down below how much you think this is right now. We'll come back to it. All right, let me give you a better view. Yeah, okay. Um, I think I told you about these towels last night and then my camera was dying so I had to like, yeah. And then I also got these, which I'm gonna start filling with soap. I'm not gonna be buying no more and not helping out the earth here. Just keep buying all of this when I can just buy a refillable bag and just, or you know, a bag and refill these jars. Um, I've been running around the house with these kids, but I'm going to do that. Plus, I think it looks sleeker. Um, once we get the faucets in, um, I'll figure out where I want to place that. I might put it over there to the side. I don't know. Let me give you all a final look at my new accessory drawer, which I'm freaking obsessed with. Jewelry cleaner makes perfect sense to be in here. We got some small perfumes. These are like my just tools, just random things, extra lip balms. And then all my beautiful beaded earrings are finally out for me to see them. This is where I'll set my rings. These are my rubber, um, like a uh, wedding band set, some glasses, all of them are prescription. Um, and then a few, I got just gold hoops here, studs, random earrings. Um, some fun ones that I do like to pull from. And then like all of my bangles. This is where I lay all those bubble bar bracelets. Pretty much, I literally just grab all these and wear them at once. So that's what that looks like. And if I ever take off my wedding ring, I would go there, but I never take it off. And I had you guys guess how much this was. 60 bucks. It was between this and a all black rattan one, which was 70. That one I seen first and I picked it up. I was like, okay, this will go great. And then I seen this one and fell in love with it. Um, if you see it at Home Goods, would highly recommend. I can't get over the price. It's amazing quality. It's heavy, but not too heavy. This is not going to stain or anything. It's kind of like I don't know what this material is. It's very comfy. Um, it slides really easily under there. It fits perfectly. Like, I didn't measure this at all. <laughs> I couldn't have picked a better, like, fitting stool. It's, like, exactly what this bathroom needed. this point in the whole room design it has been so long since i've been able to pick up this camera that i almost didn't even know how to work it i'm lying but um it has been a while and i'm sure at this point um we're probably like where has the new video been <laughs> but because of our schedules and everything going on in our life you know room redos or makeovers or whatever kind of take the back burner unless it's like something that's got to be done so we've been doing like the necessary stuff we've been deep in potty training all that stuff but that's not what you're here to hear about you want to see the bathroom we have gotten one faucet done now we still have to do 
this down here. I am going to take these baskets down and fill in the holes and replace them up here. Um, I I had it like this initially, and y'all know I added more baskets. Y'all have seen that part already. But they just look like they're running away from each other. <laughs> so the more, every time I walk in here, I'm like, I love the baskets. I love the warmth that it brings, that texture that it brings into here. But I'm not in love with the placement of them. So I'm going to marry them all together so it's like one fluid piece. Um, these two baskets, I kind of have to be particular about where I put them though because they're covering up things from the towel rod that needs to be up there that we cannot take out of the wall without having to like, patch the wall and we were not doing that so i gotta be particular about where i put these to hide those things so i'm going to work on that cody's in there making his overnight oats for tomorrow so once he's done he's going to join me in here and um we'll hopefully get this bathroom done tonight those last few things let's get to it shall we i think i like this what do we think? I try to break up the lighter and the darker and um, the different shapes. I think we like this better. I'm going to also take a picture real quick and send it to my friend Trevor, my own personal interior decorator, and see what he thinks. He will not lie to me. He was one that when I sent him the picture, he was like, why do they look like they're running away from each other? <laughs> and I was like, oh God, he's right, he's right. So let me send him a picture real quick and we'll see what he thinks. I want y'all to look, he is playing me. Talking about my baskets with social distancing. <laughs> I told y'all. Okay, I sent him a picture. So let's see what he thinks. He's typing. Got a game plan. We're gonna make him trail. Trevor also said to take this one out. I might end up adding it back, but as of right now, it's working better this way. And I did add this one in, which wasn't being used in the living room. And it brings a black element to this wall. So, started already. I got this one here and I'm going to work my way over and then the one that'll touch this won't be down as low. It'll be up a little bit higher, but it'll still cover those. And then once I have them all up, then I'll see what holes need to be filled and I'll worry with that after. I'm sure all of these will have to be filled because I'm going this way. Here I am at my stopping point with this wall. I wish I did not have to put one here because I think it would be more of that free flowingness that I was going for. But um, yeah, I can't because those two big gaping holes are there. So that is it. <laughs> I don't know what else to do to it. Now I have a hole to fill here from a basket that I removed from there, but I'm so annoyed with it. I wish I loved it, but at this point, I do not. But this is what you're getting. This is this is it. Try that and see. Try that and see what happens. How do you even figure out how to do this, man? You may figure out how to do this mess. Change the faucet. Hello? Damn, what do you mean? Uh huh? Come look at it, see what you can take apart. Roll with it. I hate plumbing work. <laughs> Good thing you don't do that for a living. Yep. Well, new installation won't be bad. Freaking remodeling mess. Don't want to 
over tighten them or you'll break them over rings. And have to go to Lowe's. And have to go to Lowe's. And buy replacements. And buy replacements. And that brings us to today here in June. <laughs> I cannot believe it has been that long. Um, but like I said, life. So really excited to share this room. So let's get to it. have any questions about anything that we have purchased to change stuff out if I did not mention it in the video and maybe I can link it I will have it linked down below in the description box um, and possibly even down below in the comments to better help you guys out if you know some of you are kind of confused by all the different locations um, but I really hope you guys love it as much as we do I know the majority of y'all have been on board with painting this bathroom for a long time we just hated to even like <laughs> have to do that knowing that in the long run we want to move but we know that for um you know resale value we feel like it will just not that it's going to add any value to it but it'll just look more aesthetically pleasing when we start you know that whole journey with sailing so we love it love it love it love it it just feels so bright and happy and like spa like which is exactly what i wanted i wanted sort of like a traditional modern feel which i think is considered transitional i really think that's my style but i love it you know some pieces that i can put there in the center if you know some really cute things um some like heavy like stoneware kind of stuff let me know down below in the comments also let me know what your favorite thing was probably going to be the paint um but i can't wait to talk to you guys down below in the comments and i hope you have a beautiful and blessed day y'all bye thanks for watching